at um, in Longview again. We are in the northwest section of Longview in the Gregg County, obviously, in the Pine Tree ISD. This home is 2360 square feet, built in 1961. There is not an HOA. Our asking price is 279000 It is a four bedroom, two bath. There is not a garage. You can see on the left there, the garage was converted into an additional living space. And this one is on just over a third of an acre. So let's take a look inside. Welcome inside. Let's take a look. We come into this nice open area here. Could be used for a second living space or a dining area. We've got this is our converted garage space. About half of it. The other half is still storage and things on the other side. So this would make a great um, office or flex space, bonus room, a good space for pool table, anything like that, you know, a game room, all kinds of stuff. So lots of options in here. Let's go take a look into the kitchen. So here's our kitchen and our family room. Nice and open together. Good uh, uh, old laminate style. It's fairly consistent with the age of the home. And we've got the French doors here. We've got the peninsula. You can put some short stools or chair, tall chairs there. And have an eat-in countertop. They've done some updating, some painting, some nicer, newer fixtures. Um, the tile floors, obviously not original, you know, and then the wood style laminate in there is not original. So they've at least done some updating. We've got some newer appliances in here. Plenty of cabinet space. Yeah. And, uh, room to store all of your goodies and plus we've got a nice big walk-in pantry in here comes back around all the way up around here so nice big pantry that's great back over here we have the other part from that conversion we have a, some of this in you know, this little room here with a for storage you can use it for a little flex space or whatever you need so we've got some extra storage there we've got the area here with your mechanical water heater all of that So this one has had some updates, but not fully updated. So there's still some updating and painting and things that someone would probably want to do if they bought this place. Nice brick fireplace. You can change colors if you want, obviously. With the pillars and mantle. Head down here, here's the bedrooms and bathrooms. We've got the old 1960s. You know, canary yellow and white there. We still have the old style gas heater. Don't know if that's functional. That would be something that your home inspector would hopefully take a look at. And over here we have a whole house fan. Don't know if that's still connected. Turn it on. Something buzzed, but nothing came on. Bedroom basic size for this age uh, we'll walk in closet put your room in there for whoever gets this bedroom we've got our mechanical closet here we've got a linen closet coat closet 
back here at the end of the hallway. Another bed corner, front corner bedroom here. Here's another walk-in closet. This one has the sliding doors rather than the opening swing door. Good size closet. It's got shelving and rods in there. And our what would probably be the primary bedroom. We've got the closet over here. Old electric cabinet in the closet, which is pretty standard. Not too unusual for a home of this age. Modern standards, they would not have an electric cabinet in the bedroom closet. That would be something the home inspector may or may not discuss if you were to buy it. So we have our light switch and our old style bathroom here. Looks like they replaced the pan in the shower at some point because it has different tile. So you've got the old peach and brown tile in here. Some people really like the retro look and they might leave this. Some people don't like the retro and they would update it and change it all out. That's not my call. In this bedroom, you know, we've got the closet here. We have another closet over here. All right. So this would probably be the primary suite. It's a little bigger bedroom. And you've got two closets and an attached bath. Right. And this one has a nice big backyard. Let's go. Take a look. Helps if I unlock the door. Here's a quick reminder to hit that like button, subscribe, and share with folks who will appreciate learning about Texas real estate and life in the Lone Star State. Check that link in the description to schedule a video chat with me, and we hope to hear from you soon. Now back to our video. Off we go. Squeeze through here. All right. So we've got this nice big covered patio and some uncovered patio space. We've got a cool little area here with a fire pit. That's nice. Got a good sized backyard. They've got a full size trampoline, lots of green space left over, and an above ground pool with a deck. We'll take a look up on the deck here in a minute. So it's a nice size yard, really big. A lot of the homes these days, you don't have much of a yard, but here in the, uh, some of the older parts of Longview, we still have homes with great size yards. And this is one of them. It's like we've got an electrical receptacle over here, maybe for lighting or something, but uh, yeah. crepe myrtles, nice big oak trees around more crepe myrtles over here so you gotta yeah throw some chlorine in there clean it up get that squirrel out i might do that before we leave if i find a net because that's just really sad um so that's good you've got the safety latch safety gate up here on your deck to keep the little ones out from getting in trouble in the pool that looks to be in pretty good shape bouncing on it and it's seeming pretty stable so get a nice up here oh there's another another squirrel so well here's our backyard nice good sized backyard yeah, and a good deck up here. You even have room to put a you know, couple tables, chairs, 
and all that up here. So it's really nice. I like this yard. I like this back deck. So that's the backyard on this one.